high demand. Reviewers say it is a game changer in the smartphone market, but it could also mean a change for your budget. That's because AT&T has changed its pricing for data. Consumer advisor Clark Howard says there are still ways to get smartphones with unlimited access. It wasn't that long ago that a smartphone was one with buttons. Now we make calls from anywhere and we search the internet, download apps, play games on our phones, even do banking. But when smartphones first came on the market, a lot of us yawned. Wireless networks were begging for customers. So what the networks decided to do was to goose the networks, to goose the system. It was to offer customers um, an unlimited um, opportunity to pay a flat rate and just use what they want. It worked. Many of us are now hooked on smartphones. So guess what? AT&T decided to stop offering unlimited service. It's going to a tiered service plan. If you use a certain amount of megabytes a month, you're going to pay less. Everybody else pays more. AT&T says 98% of the customers uh, are using less than this amount of data, and 2% are using more. But when you look at the functions available on the new iPhone, I think you'll run through those data caps in no time. So far, AT&T's the only one to announce data caps. It's possible, though, Verizon's going to jump in that pool. It's funny, in the midst of AT&T going to caps, others are going the other way. Later this year, Metro PCS is going to offer an ultra-high-speed network in Atlanta. Data caps? No way. You don't have to have somebody handcuff you to their plan. Go shop the market. I'm Clark Howard, Channel 2 Action News. And Clark says Boost Mobile offers an unlimited data plan for $50 a month. You can also get an unlimited plan for a BlackBerry for about $60 a month. He says Sprint also still offers unlimited data plans. There are still no sign of